ladies, and welcome to The Beauty Shaman. So today I wanted to use um, the time to answer a question that a viewer emailed to me, and I think it's a really important question, and I, I really respect the questions that you all give to me, and I really try to curtail my, or to create content that is answering your questions. Um, so just so you know, I take them very seriously, so if you do have questions, please write them down below. I, I will create um, content for you. Um, so before I read the question and talk about it, let's take a sip of tea. Got to have our tea. Okay. So the question today comes from Gloria. So thank you so much, Gloria, for writing into me. And you say, um, I enjoy your videos. I'm learning a lot. Um, she found me on 60 and me. So if you've ever heard of 60 and me, um, check out that website. It's great for older women. I write every month and produce a, a blog and an article for them every month. So I highly recommend, I'll put a link down below, um, to 60 and me. Um, in any case, she said, her question is, is how to address the lines above her lips. Um, she said, I will be 70 in May and these lines um, that I would have described as fine seem to be getting deeper. Um, any welcome, any, any information I might have is welcome. So thank you so much, Gloria, for asking that. I don't believe this is a question I have addressed yet on my channel, which is quite amazing because it's a really common question. Um, so before we get started, before I answer this question, be sure to visit my website at thebeautyshaman.com and also to hit the bell and the subscribe button so that I can continue to make content. Um, okay. So launching straight into this, I'm not even going to pause. I would say, um, I actually asked a friend of mine who is a working esthetician. I'm an esthetician, but I don't work as an esthetician. So I asked her, her name is Jewel Lar, and she has a spa here in Boulder called Shakti Spa. So if you're in Boulder, definitely visit Jewel. I'll put her links down below. Um, but she said the most effective treatment that she has found, and I'm going to help with this. I'm going to launch into more of my thoughts around this, uh, micro needling. So she said microdermabrasion pe and peels would be her recommendation. Um, so microdermabrasion, not micro peels, micro, whatever I said, microdermabrasion and peels. So two separate things that you can have done at a estheticians, um, with an esthetician. So, um, microdermabrasion is really, really awesome. And basically microdermabrasion is a minimally, I looked up the exact definition. If those of you who haven't heard of it, it's a minimally invasive procedure to renew skin tone and texture. It helps remove sun damage, wrinkles, fine lines, age spots, acne, acne scaring, uh, scarring, melasma, and etc. So microdermabrasion is, they use an applicator. I've had microdermabrasion a lot. It probably took, I would say 10 years off my face. So it is very, very, um, it's excellent. I think if you really want to improve the condition of your skin, there's a few things you can do. Microdermabrasion is definitely one of them. It's basically a device. Um, and this device they use, the, the esthetician will use, um, this applicator, I guess you could call, call it to basically kind of sand away at your skin. That sounds terrible sand, but it basically helps to remove the top layer of dead skin um, and that that's what helps to minimize the fine lines. So if you go in, what I recommend is to go in and have microdermabrasion done once a month and just commit yourself to it. Um, a lot of places have special deals that they negotiate with people who come in every single month. So, you know, if I, if money is an issue, I would say do that. But if you do it every single month, within six months, you're going to go, wow, okay, I can see it. Like you probably the first visit, not so much. It's one of those things that really builds. It's like anything to do with wellness. Um, it's not instant, right? It's, it's time. But within a year, I mean, I looked in the mirror and went, I looked at pictures before and after and it was crazy. I was, it was a good 10 years off my face. This is before I started shooting videos. I was just working as a professional makeup artist. Um, definitely made a huge difference. So I definitely recommend There's different types of micro, micro dermabrasion as well. Um, I would say, you know, just inquire how they go about it. Um, there's different types of needle, not needles, but the applicators that they use. So anyway, I won't go into great detail. I think just go to somebody who you trust, who some, maybe someone else is going to and get that done. The other thing that you can do is peels that, that Jewel recommended. And I love peels. I give myself a peel every month um, because I'm licensed and I wanted to show you what I use. Um, it's called, um, it's by Image and I love Image. This is one of my um, vendors that I deal with quite a bit and it's called Eye Peel. So this is wonderful. It's called Wrinkle Lift, but um, I use it um, every month and I l put it on my freshly cleaned face and I leave it on for about five to eight minutes. That's it. And then I wash it off and it just keeps my face, the dry, the dead skin sloughed off of my face. Um, and it really brightens. It's helped to minimize my age spots, which I have one here. I got 
a couple on my nose. I had one over here and it's just really helped to keep that down. Okay. I also put it all the way down my neck and my decollete, which also really helps with that area, which is a tricky area. There's not much you can do with your neck. Um, but this definitely helps. Um, you can't get it in your eyes. It's not good for that, but it's really, really, really good for minimizing lines. And what you can do is when you go in to have this done, tell your esthetician that you really want to focus on, you know, if this isn't a concern for your upper lip to really focus on that. Um, the other thing I would say is what we do externally with the skincare and with, um, seeing an esthetician is probably about 20 to 30% of what makes our skin great. Um, the other percentage, the other like, you know, 70 to 80% is internal. So I would say internally, and if you've watched my channel, you know, I'm like a broken record. I harp on this, but take oils. Oils are huge. So I take, this is one of the oils I take. It's super omega three, six, nine, um, by, um, now. So I take th four of the, five of these a day. So two in the morning, two at night, one at lunchtime. Um, and they are at 1200 milligrams each. So I am taking a ton, an expletive ton of this. And trust me, you can't take enough of it. It's so good for your skin. I live in a very dry climate and I wake up and I can wipe the oil off my forehead. That's how much this helps. I also take organic flax oil and I take this about a tablespoon once or twice a day in something like in a cereal or um, a lot of times I'll use it in conjunction with fruit and yogurt. Um, but it's wonderful. That also is just so rich. Um, I definitely recommend vitamin C. If you don't take vitamin C, it's one of the most healing things for your skin. Um, I take three of these a day. These are a um, thousand milligrams per. I take three a day. And if I start to feel the least bit poorly, I take more than that. Whatever your body doesn't absorb, it'll just get rid of. So you can't overdo it on vitamin C. It makes a huge difference for your skin. Topically, using topical vitamin C is also awesome. Um, the brand I love, you know, Truth Treatments, I talk about this brand a lot. Um, their Transdermal C Serum, this one is loaded with vitamin C. Um, so is Image Skincare, which I also really love. They make a wonderful Vital C line for vitamin C. Um, the other thing I would say, take, uh, as far as oils, take E. I take one of these a day, 400 milligrams. And I also take a tablespoon of this everyday black seed oil in conjunction with a little bit of honey to help it absorb. Um, this also is a wonderful oil is great for, um, swelling. Like if you feel like you're, uh, puffy, you know, can really help take that down. Um, so those are fabulous. I think if you go at it on, I, I always have the kind of the mentality of throw everything at it. Right. So if that's your concern, I would say, you know, throw the great nutritional supplements on it, throw great skincare, and then also do, um, a, you know, visit an esthetician and have that, um, uh, microdermabrasion and peels done to it, um, at least once a month. And I would say, and also fresh water, I didn't throw that in there, but I would not drink tap water. I would buy your water, get some great spring water, um, because our tap water has got a lot of chemicals in it. We're very overrun with chemicals in our society now, and it's really messed with us, okay? And it's messed with our skin. So I would say, really get yourself some fresh water. I drink 64 ounces of fresh water with a little lemon in it every day. That's a lot of water. I run to the toilet all the time. <laughs> <laughs> my friends are always making fun of me about it, but, and so are my kids. But anyway, I don't care. Like it really makes my skin look great and I feel great. So I would say go at it in those ways. I, I hope that's been helpful um, to you, Gloria. And for all you ladies, please let me know what you think of this. If you've tried anything that maybe I didn't mention. Um, I think it's great. We work as a, as a kind of family to help each other. Um, I also, oh, I didn't hit makeup. I would say makeup wise, don't put much on it because trying to cover wrinkles just doesn't work. Wrinkles, you don't cover wrinkles, basically. Um, go with a very sheer to medium color, uh, coverage foundation um, and don't do anything else. The more you try to add, the more it's going to show. I would definitely say use a lip liner. This is the one I used today. Um, very loved little lip liner here. But use lip liners that'll help stop lipstick from bleeding into your lips. Um, the other trick to stop lipstick from bleeding is to put 
powder on your lips before you do your lip liner and that'll help to keep it on there even better so that's another trick um, but anyway I'll, if I if I can find it I've got a video on um, how to keep your lipstick on so that's really important when you have um, lines that it tends to bleed into which so many of us do so anyway I hope this has been helpful Gloria and to all the rest of you um, ladies so I hope you guys are great and you're staying safe and healthy and thinking of spring and the flowers and all the beautiful things yet to come. So anyway, thanks for watching The Beauty Shaman.